Welcome back. Mike and Mark will be showing us the secrets to the best lamb shank shortly. But first, it's an Emirates Melbourne Cup thing show today and we welcome Melbourne-based milliner Kim Fletcher's designs, which are favoured by celebrities Jennifer Hawkins, Rachel Finch and Georgia Connolly. Kim is here to talk to us about the latest fashion trends on the field. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Mel. I'm so interested. How did you become a milliner? By mistake. Fell into it completely. It wasn't planned at all. Um, I worked in, in administration. I was actually the paymaster of a trucking company, um, 500 <laughs> people a week. Wow. But my then husband was a big punter. And we went to the races regularly and obviously went to the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Had a child in 1990 and like a lot of women, really struggled when I went back into the workforce help, not having anything that was mine. And there was an advertisement in the newspaper one night a week for six months, learn to make a hat and I thought, be a little bit of fun. The um, worst that could happen was I'd have a lovely hat to wear to the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Yeah. That was back in 1993, so I've been making hats ever since. I've been well and truly hooked. That is a great story, and you've brought some of your beautiful hats mm -hmm. here. Um, That's this season's, Mel. Are they this season's? Yeah. They are called, you don't just call them, oh, sorry, it's probably a swear word, <laughs> fascinators. I hate that word. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what kinds of hats are these? Like, they're head pieces. Um, the black one obviously is a hat because it actually has a brim and a crown, not your traditional, I suppose, brim and crown that you're used to seeing. But... Um, we call them headpieces because they're more than just a little bit of fluff on a comb. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, are the trends for this season's Melbourne Cup? Okay, um, in terms of textures, we're looking at metallics in the front, one at the front in rose gold, that's really in. Um, and then it's a case of we use textures, there's some that are made of foam, um, need to be nice and light. Mm. In terms of colours, you're looking at the marshmallow colours, so yeah, the, the lemons and... and mints and pinks, those sort of colours. Obviously, though, I've brought the strong colours. They show out better on television. Now, for somebody like me, mm -hmm. who's, you know, in the 40s, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, so, some of these are for young people, aren't they? Or am I mistaken? It's basically you've got to dress to your personality, Mel, um, and some of these wouldn't work on some people because they, they just can't carry it off. So mm. it is definitely a case of when I meet you for the first time, I'm looking at your face. Obviously, if you've got something on your head it does show your personality. So you need to think about how you want people to perceive you. So, yeah, it's very much a case of working out what you're comfortable with. Loud and outrageous, that's exactly. what I want. Um, now, of course, uh, you are a Myers Fashion of the field judge. That's so right. what do you look out for? Um, well, obviously, we want the ladies to take into account the current trends in terms of fashion. Mm. But they also have to dress to their own personality and body type. So they have to be comfortable up there. It's no point getting up there and, and getting, you know, looking the goods and then not being able to carry it off. So it is definitely a case of personality. OK, so I know that someone at home watching this will think I'm a regular at the races. Yep. How do I get a hat like this from you? I mean, what, what's the process? The process. Yeah. process is have a look at the different websites, Facebook pages, you know, Instagram, and see if there's a milliner that you like their work. That's probably the best way because, I mean, I make a certain type of hat and if someone comes in and they're asking for something that I do, do well, obviously I can refer them to another milliner. So check out the different sorts of things that the milliners do and, and what grabs you. And then it's actually just coming in and seeing them, seeing if you gel and, and getting a collaborative process happening. I love it. Um, and I have to ask because, you know, being a mum, you have to watch the budget, <laughs> but what's the price? Look, it... it is, you know, how long's a piece yeah, of string. Yeah. Um, the little piece that's like a tiara piece down there, that's $110. Up to the black one, you're looking at about 650 That's all right. Mm. Yep, and it's a piece you can keep forever. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. It was uh, really interesting indeed. Thank you, Melissa.